How's it going ladies and gents? Welcome back to the Trigging Shoe Repair channel. It's Easter Sunday, but I'm not resting. I'm here working for you guys because we've got a project. We have got a rescue job on these very sorry Red Wing Iron Rangers. They've been a little bit butchered, but I'll show you more of that in a minute. We're doing a big restoration. Keep watching, see what it's all about. So once again, welcome back guys. Hope you're doing fantastic. Let me know what you're up to in the comments. I do enjoy hearing what you're up to all around the world. Sorry I've been away from uh, YouTube for just a hot minute. Reason being is I've been doing a lot of stuff on TikTok. If you're not following me there already, jump over, it's Dan the Cobbler. And the reason being is it gives me a chance to make different sorts of videos. There are two minute, three minute short videos, things that don't make the cut for a big YouTube video. I just pop on there. So it's a different way for me to just create content for you guys. But I'm back here today because we've got a big job. We have, like I said, these Red Wing Iron Rangers, and they've been messed up, to be honest, right? So they have this Vibram sole on the bottom. Nothing wrong with a Vibram sole, it's just the way it's been done. So if you guys can see, like that, it's completely flat. It's missing the heel block. There is no heel block on it, and it's very crudely put together. We can just probably pull it off. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. And it's also been Blake stitched. This is an outsole shoe, which means it's stitched onto the welt on the outside. But somebody has Blake stitched it right through the bottom and right through to the inside of the footbed, which is a shame. So not much we're going to do about that today. But we're going to replace the whole lot with leather soles and then put some nice day-night tread on the bottom afterwards i think it's going to be pretty cool so we're going to crack on with that i've got the door locked so i'm not going to be interrupted today it's easter sunday and you know what guys nobody got me any easter eggs and uh i guess it's just that nobody loves me nobody wanted to get me some easter eggs hey maybe you guys could send me some easter eggs i don't know i'm just thinking out loud just would be nice to be loved <sighs> anyway let's look at the shoe repair So what we're going to do for our horrible old sole is just apply some heat that's going to loosen up the old glue and then we've just got to cut through these pretty ghetto stitches and we should be able to peel the whole thing off. Okay, let's see what happens if we just go for it. Okay, so yes, it wants to come off easy enough, but there are just these, like I said, very strange stitches in the way. It's not even proper sole thread, it's almost like patching thread for handbags. And then the back here, I'm just gonna have to pull off and show you. Unfortunately, the heel counter is loose. And it's going to need replacing. So this orange fabric that you see here matches the heat gun. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to tell you. It's wrapped around on the metal shank and the purpose of this is squeak prevention. So if a leather sole is maybe rubbing on the metal shank, that's sometimes where you can get a squeak in a shoe. That's why this fabric's around it. We're gonna have to remove it, but um, we're gonna get around the issue anyway. I'm just going to put a thin layer of cork over the top of the shank and that will do the same job. So now we've stripped the shoe down, let's take a look at what we're going to need to finish the job. Premium Italian leather soles, hard wearing Vibram rubber outsoles, new stacked leather heel blocks, yellow stitching thread. All right guys, so as I said earlier, these are an outsole construction, which means we're sewing the sole onto the outside of the shoe, the welt here, which means we need to unpick all of these old stitches so that we have room to put new stitches in. So this is what the last repair I should have done and didn't. Now it is easy to call people out and just say that they've done a bad job and in this case I think they have but you never know some people just haven't been taught or they don't have the correct machinery to do the right job which is why it's important for us in the know to teach people how to do shoe repairing properly the right way so that we can keep doing good quality 
proper work for customers looking for it. So first thing to do is just get some cork filler in this cavity and then we can look at replacing the heel counter. For those of you guys who remember my mega pint of cork filler, it's still going. Running a little low, but there's still plenty in there. Okay guys, so we've got our Red Wing Iron Ranger here prepped, ready for gluing. We've got our heel rand in place. Gonna get some nails in that in a moment once we've got the leather sole on. Speaking of which, here we are. We're using our premium brand of leather, Decini, which is Italian made stuff. Very, very nice. We've got our hard on ready and Chief Ron ready to help with the gluing. So for the first time in this video, let's get sticky. Okay, so we're gonna give that all a moment to dry, probably give it two coats and then heat everything up to activate the glue and stick it together. Super quick intermission because it's actually day two. I ran out of time yesterday and Annabelle is here. Hey guys. Back on the channel. It's uh, Easter, yes, bank holiday Monday and she's helping me film some of the shoe repair. Yeah, just been to the gym. We just went to the gym, which is why I'm in my gym clothes now. <laughs> What's so funny? Gym shock. Anyway, that's why, just had to tell you why we've changed the clothes. Let's get back to the shoe repair. Actually, just while we're on the topic of the gym, I just want to give a quick shout out to Beast Farm that I'm partnered up with. This is for you gym guys that have been following me. If you don't know, most of you do know that outside of work, I compete in powerlifting and bodybuilding. So I just got back from the gym, so I'll make sure I'm nice and hydrated. So I've got my big shaker full of water. And actually this Beast Farm Hydro, it's just a hydrating formula packed full of electrolytes, your sodium and your potassium. So I like to get that in now. But even just throughout the day whilst I'm at work, I like to stay extra hydrated. So I like to get a nice couple of liters extra water that I would normally have from my coffees, etc. And as I say, whack a bit of hydro in. It comes in really cool flavors. This is lemon sherbet. So Beast Farm is actually Eddie Hall supplement line, former world's strongest man, really cool guy. And they've just got some really cool stuff. They got the hydro, they've got some great pre-workouts, including stimulant free ones. So if you're like me and you struggle sleeping at night, but you still train late in the evening, caffeine free, stimulants are fantastic. So if you do fancy having a look guys, if you are a gym person, you already use supplements. I highly recommend at least giving Beast Farm a go, try it out and very handy for you. I have a discount code, which is Dan, D-A-N, gets you 10% off, can't be bad. So anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's go back to the shoe repair. Marking an area here with the heel block so that we know where we're going to put some nails in for this heel section. Right, so we've got our leather sole on now. Normally we'd stitch that on, but we're not going to do that just yet because we want to get our rubber outsole on and then stitch the whole lot together. Isn't that right, Annabelle? You know it! <laughs> Maybe that's 
why you're a bit crazy. I'm not crazy. Because of all the glue that you smell. No, oh, don't see that. That's what everyone says in the comments. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> are you worried about the fumes? Are you not? My daddy was doing this for 30 years and he's just fine. So what we're doing now is just cutting some of the rubber tread away to make a stitch track, a flat section for us to run around and put stitches in. Last little bit. This knife is so shiny, it's reflecting in my eyes. Okay, so we've got to stitch the sole on, so we're over here at Victor, our outsole stitcher. And you know this isn't going to be any old repair, I want to jazz it up a little bit. So I'm going to use yellow thread to stitch the soles on. So I've got a little bit left in there now, but I just need to fill up the shuttle with a bit more yellow thread. Some of you might be asking why we're hammering on, nailing on rather the heel block from the outside in rather than the inside out this time. And the reason being is you can do it either way. Outside, inside, it's all the same. The only difference is we have to do this first before we put the top lift on. Ooh. So a question I get in the comments all the time is, won't the nails hurt his feet? So they've gone all the way through. Remember, we've taken the insole out and once they hit this metal last, they fold over. So what we're going to do is go for a natural finish around the edge. So as always, we take some fine sandpaper and just go around and make it extra smooth. And then it'll come up to a nice, smooth, shiny finish.
Okay, so we're getting there guys. The meat and potatoes of the repair is done. We've got our lug, outsole and heel on. And nice yellow stitching and everything all polished around nicely. But we need to pay some attention to the uppers. They're not particularly dirty, but we're just gonna give them some TLC. We're gonna clean up all the dust and dirt off with some reviving cream. And because they're oiled leather, we're then going to finish it off with some of the Saphir Medaldor Mink Oil. Making sure to get up in all the cracks and creases and down in the inside of the welt. A lot of dirt gathers there. Now that's dry, as I said, now we can pop on some of the mink oil just to give it that waxy finish. There's a real combination of fragrances going on here. Now do remember if you need any mink oil or any other shoe care products, do visit our online shop, tringshoepairs.com, where we sell all of the products that you see in the videos, as we are an official Sapphire stockist. So you can get all your creams, polishes, cleaners, brushes, take your pick. Okay, so I think we just need to get the laces back in and that's it, job done. guys there we go job done rock and roll I haven't said that for a while have i but these look banging i think i think the yellow stitching really makes them pop so what have we done we've done the full leather sole well first off we stripped off that nightmare that was on there before and we replaced it with a nice comfy premium leather sole the decini and put our vibram sorry it's not vibram day night logger outsoles and of course tidied everything up and made the new heel counter at the back job done so another rescue job successfully completed. We're gonna get these back into the post. They're a mail order job. Get them back to the customer. I'm sure he's gonna love them. But as for the video, that is the end of the video. So thanks for watching, guys. I haven't got my apron on. It's a different shirt than it was five minutes ago. What's going on? I'm keeping you guys on your toes. But if you like the video, make sure to hit like. It tells other people that there's something worth watching here on YouTube. And as always, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. It's good to have you here. And hit the notifications bell so you're kept in the loop every time I upload something new. And you guys, my gym guys, my crew that is interested in gym stuff that you've been here for a while, do check out Beast Farm Subs. It's really cool stuff and as i said if you want to try it out you can use my code dan and you get 10 percent off can't recommend their stuff enough they got some really nice whey protein some banging flavors they got some really good pre-workouts especially their stim free pre-workout so if you're like me and you have trouble sleeping at night but you still train late in the evenings you've got a caffeine free stim free pre-workout which is just perfect i'm gonna get out of here i've got to go home and mow the lawn that's what's on the cards for me right now so see you later guys cheers